Boomin, thousands of homes to buy and rent nationwide and features to get you ahead of others. So we moved into this house about a year and a half ago. We found it whilst we were on holiday in Barbados. And in Barbados, a lot of the houses have these huge vaulted ceilings, all very cream and neutral, bright. And that's why we added these two gorgeous um, rattan straw lampshades, which fill that space nicely. We did have an idea of what our dream house would be if it cropped up, but they're so hard to find in this area. Well, to be honest, I wasn't even, like I loved our old house because I was content of having that. And then you used to drive past this when you was a kid and always think I'd love to live there. And then it was on it was on the market and then we went and looked at it. And like I said, when, when we went in the master bedroom, we started crying. The exact same thing happened when we picked our wedding venue. Yeah. So I was like, this is the one we're getting. When I cry, that's what it means. It yeah. means we have to have this. It was on the market for quite a while, and I think it's because it did need quite a lot of renovations. Yeah. Um, it was on the market for two years, wasn't it? Yeah, but I think because, like, I mean, I'm 30 now, but we are still a young couple. Yeah. And it was in the position to be like, it's it's like a, like it's a dream house, but we, we've still got a lot to get there, and we didn't want to rush it. Every single room in this house needed renovating, but we fell in love with it, and that was it. So we were shocked. It was a lot. It was hard work. It's been... A lot of money, a lot of stress, a lot of hard work, but actually now we have our dream home and I think the hardest, most expensive part of it was this kitchen. This is definitely our favourite room. The so kitchen. this was the, the lounge before and then this, it had like French doors there, window, French doors, there was a window in that corner over there. And then where the fridge is, that was actually a fireplace. But we just wanted somewhere that we could socialise and I love cooking, so I just wanted a really big family area. It just came out exactly what we wanted and that yeah. never happened before. <laughs> the Instagram account was like a random decision, which honestly, I we can't both, believe. We both had access to it, like, yeah, we did. I just let you run with it. Yeah, we, we moved in and I just thought, oh my God, I really want to be able to look back at something to sort of see you know, what we did, where we come from, and have all the befores on there. And that's why we did it. We really did it just as like a diary for ourselves. I never in a million years thought that it would kick off the way that it did. Like we're now on 730,000 followers just on the homepage and it absolutely blows my mind. Um, but the, it's like the interaction on there as well, like people, it, people just love it. Oh, it's just a little- Like people like, you know what people like to have their say about everything like, and. Like, what better place to do it than like looking like, oh, don't like that interior, yeah. you shouldn't have this colour, you shouldn't have that. Like. Yeah, and honestly, it it sort of ignited my whole passion for interior as well. After I started the account, I sort of realised that I really enjoyed it. And then I studied um, an interior design diploma online during lockdown. So it, it was just the best thing for me and I still love doing it. And I just love getting everyone's opinions. And yeah, it's been, it's been an amazing sort of career change for us. When I put out the design for the bar area outdoors with the hot tub and like the fire pit, a lot of people were like, oh my God, this looks like Love Island. And we could <laughs> say that that is our very own little bow and Love Island maybe, out there. Maybe it's sub <laughs> subconsciously we've yeah. designed it like that. But um, yeah, it does, it does remind me a little bit of Love Island outside. I think it will in the sunshine. I think it's like got that country feel to it, but it's got a lot of modern. Yeah, it's been like twist to it as well, like the colour schemes, like, a, like we tried to, our old days we had loads of silvers and bluey greys, now we've gone for more like the brownie greys, yeah. like taup colours and yeah. Your taste definitely changes as you grow up, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I, I mean to be honest, like like I said, that I didn't even think that we would even get this house or would move because I loved our old house. But I think it was a blessing that we had that one because we knew what we didn't want anymore. So that was kind of like our test really. Yeah. I love having the guest rooms and being able to have my mum stay over. It's just so nice that it feels like everyone enjoys being here. Probably my favourite part of the renovation just because I just never in a million years thought I'd have the doors that we have in here. Because that wall behind us, um, that was just two little French doors, all brick. 
and the, the dramatic change of having six metre glass doors put in. These sight lines on sliding doors are only 20 mil, whereas on bifolds I think you can only have them at about 50 mil, so that way you just get so much landscape um, with the glass. And these open right down, so you literally can open them to that last pane of glass. We have very similar taste. Oh yeah, 100%, yeah. Um, so... I'm not very good at like... Visualising. Yeah. <laughs> no, but like, she'll say something, I'm like, I don't know if that'll look right, but then when, it, when I get it done, like 99% of the time, maybe 100% of the time, she's right. It works. Yeah, I think we, we've just agreed on a few things and then I've been like, just trust me. I know what I'm doing, just trust me. And you usually do. Yeah, I've had some good ideas too. Yeah. <laughs> I always dreamt of it and I always tried to imagine me living somewhere like this, but I don't think really deep down I ever believed that it would actually happen. Yeah, I've, all, I've always lived in like, like council houses, stuff like that, like my mum never really owned or anything, so. Yeah, like I, I moved out when I was 20. Yeah, I was still living with my mum when I went in there. Yeah, I was 24, still living at home. Like I had no chance of moving out, like scaffolding, didn't want to do that. And, then obviously went on the show, and then luckily we've still been going for like five, five years since the show. I want to stay here forever, <sighs> but I'm not, nah, but like, at the end of the day, you got to see where you are in your life, yeah. do you know what I mean? We could be like doing even better and then we want to upgrade, like, but... Oh, we could be doing worse. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, never, like, you never know what's around the corner, but I just like to, I don't really like to think to that much to the future. I know we'll be in here, here for at least 10 years, I reckon. See, that just, see that look there, like, I, it's that. I am the kind of person, I love a project, and we still have so much to do in this house. I definitely think we'll be here for the next five years, but I'm always looking for the next it's thing. Gone from 10 to five, do you <laughs> know what I mean? What, what? So guys, we've absolutely loved showing Boomin around our house today. If you have had any inspiration from this, then you can head over to the Property Playground. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video.